My name is Doreen Kessy and I'm COO at Ubongo. Um, Ubongo is a social enterprise that creates edutainment content for learners in Africa. Our goal is to help kids learn and love learning on whatever technologies that they have. So we produce two shows. Uh, Ubongo Kids and another one is called Akili and Me. We, we launched Ubongo Kids on, uh, on TV in 2014, January 2014, and we reached 1.5 million uh, households the first day that we went on air. We are now reaching over 5.1 million households uh, weekly in East Africa. Uh, and those are the, like, the numbers that we have, but we are reaching a lot more. And we have now grown to uh, more than just Kiswahili. We have English, French, and now Akili and me is also in Kenya, Rwanda. So I think we've been quite lucky to um, have people who started, on, started from early on and uh, had the skills that we needed, and then they went ahead to uh, impart those skills in other people. So we have been like bringing people in as interns to, to start, and then we would train them over time and then hire them as full-time employees. Uh, so that has worked pretty well. And then it's really, I think, important for us to bring people in who maybe don't really know everything from the beginning, but they're willing to learn. So we started with advertising. Um, and um, I think over, I mean, we got lucky, we, we launched with a sponsor uh, uh, when we, we launched in Tanzania the first time, and that worked out. Uh, but I think over time we learned that it was quite a small market we were working with, because at the end of the day, uh, the biggest spenders in advertising are beer, uh, so alcohol and cigarettes. <laughs> And then we are a child-friendly, you know, brand, and we, we can only associate ourselves with child-friendly brands. And so at the end of the day, we're working with a very small uh, group of people. Um, and so that has proven to be difficult. So now we are focusing on uh, sort of, you know, bringing in development partners from early on and co-producing this content with them so that we subsidize the cost of it, of, of producing it. But the goal is to grow our reach uh, through broadcast and then have a very engaging brand. Like, you know, we want our audience to be very engaged to the point that we have a very good and strong IP that eventually we can license um, to distributors of merchandise or other products such as DVDs. <laughs> What we've seen um, is that, first of all, it takes a long time to get the show on, uh, on TV in other markets. Um, so, for instance, now we are, you know, trying to launch, uh, to have, you know, our shows in, in Nigeria. And we don't have, we're not established in Nigeria, we don't have an office in Nigeria. Uh, so it means somebody goes to Nigeria, follows up, and then comes back, follows up again. And every time you, you go and leave something, you know, there's a lag and it just, it's like, it's almost like people forget. We've had people or partners that have come in to uh, license our content for schools. Um, and it, it hasn't been government schools. Uh, it has been, you know, if they're working with government schools and it's been a private partner who is looking to take that content to, to government schools. So we don't have enough content for kids in, in local languages, in Africa in general, right? And I think uh, we need more, especially if we are going to sort of introduce them to um, the digital world. Uh, I think the only way that we're going to do that quickly is if there is localized content, there is fun content, and it's interactive, and they want to, to go online or use whatever technology is available to them to access this content. So, I mean, education um, is really our first line of defense. Um, and I absolutely believe the government should heavily invest in education. The government should heavily uh, make, like, you know, allocate all the resources really to make sure that our kids are learning, that they're not just in school and we have all these good numbers, but they're actually learning. Um, and that the education they're getting is of, of quality. And I think it's only fair. Um, 
because otherwise we are robbing we are robbing them of their potential so yeah the government should absolutely be the one um, taking lead on this and so the goal is to continue to expand um, and have our content in even more lo local languages such as Kikuyu, Hausa, Yoruba uh, and then go to a more, more countries so Nigeria uh, we're about to launch in South Africa in July uh, we want to launch in Ghana we are working on that um, and so that's the goal to reach millions more and transform learning uh, for the 440 million kids in Africa.